Our parents tell us all the time to save for the future and that doing so will benefit our future and our next generation. What if we could save a little bit of ourselves today, more specifically our health information, so that our future selves, our children and even our grandchildren can benefit from it? Hi, I'm Adjunct Associate Professor Yeo Kung Kyong from the National Heart Centre Singapore. Did you know that one out of three deaths in Singapore is due to heart disease? To add to this alarming statistic, Singaporeans with heart failure tend to be younger than their American and European counterparts. What's so different about the Asian heart? Are Asians more susceptible to certain heart conditions? And what do we have to look out for? My team and I run the Sing Heart program. It's a biobank project which tracks the heart health of Singaporeans between the ages of 18 and 65. We look at all patients from all ethnic groups and we track their heart outcomes. And this includes coronary calcium, lifestyle, diet, exercise, ECG, blood pressure over a period of up to 20 years. It's almost like a savings bank for which we can reap long-term health outcome results. There are three ways we collect data and study personalised care for the Asian heart. First, genomic sequencing. Genes play a huge part in our lives. They are the reason why our eyes are a certain colour, our hair is a certain texture, and why we respond differently to disease and medication. Genes have a powerful way of telling us why individuals are the way they are and what works best for them. Hey buddy, what's up? By studying genetic data, we can identify risk factors, understand any predisposing genetic conditions in Asian hearts, and what treatment works best for specific individuals. We may even be able to predict who would develop heart disease in the future and put in place monitoring and prevention plans accordingly. That said, good health is not determined by genes alone. One can still be in good health by maintaining a healthy lifestyle. That's why my team also looks at the fitness and lifestyle of individuals. Participants wear fitness trackers that measure their heart rates and movements. We study that in relation to their blood tests and cardiac imaging results to find out the correlation between fitness, lifestyle and heart health. For example, we recently found that volunteers who had exercised more often had a larger heart size as compared to those who do not. This enlarged heart or athlete's heart condition share similar features as heart disease and can be easily mistaken as a serious condition. These findings help us better differentiate and make more accurate diagnosis of heart conditions. We also do regular cardiac imaging on our volunteers to study the physical attributes of the Asian heart. We evaluate the anatomy and function of the heart chambers and valves as well as the heart's size, shape and blood flow. With this information, we can better diagnose and treat heart disease. Be it to identify those at risk of heart disease or to understand how the disease differs in different ethnic groups or ultimately to develop new diagnostic tools and treatment plans, my team and I hope to make a breakthrough in cardiovascular research for Asians through Sing Heart. This would not be possible without the support of healthy volunteers. Join us in banking your heart health information and you can play a part in shaping heart health for the future.